Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn a new concept called Bicep Param Files. Basically using this, we can simplify our parameter management. Let's get started. So far, in all our previous videos, we have used JSON files for storing our parameters. Now, this was an old approach. Now, Bicep started allowing uh, the configuration of these parameters in a new way. So, let's understand how to use that. All we need is open the main.bicep file. Currently, as you can see here, we have three parameters. The first two parameters are required parameters because there is no default value. The third parameter, which is location, it is not required because a default value has been assigned to it already. Now, I would like to generate a bicep param file for this bicep file. So, all we need is right click and then click generate parameter file and it shows us two options as you know json was the old one now bicep param has been added here now i would like to use bicep params click on this now it is asking me do you want to create the bicep param for all inputs or only the required parameters so i would like to do it for either all or required only it's up to us so it's recommended to do for all and here in the output file it says generating parameter file succeeded and it generated a bicep param file <laughs> now as you can see here it turned into red because there is some problem um, so one limitation with bicep param is you cannot have this kind of functionalities here okay so the resource group cannot be used the resource group function cannot be used here so i am going to remove it and there is no harm for this because anyways in the bicep file the default value has been assigned now as you can see here the moment i removed that line the error has gone and it is asking us to provide some values before we enter some values let's examine this file uh, basically what it did is it created two sections the first section is using directive and the second section is all the parameters so basically the using directive specifies the bicep file path or name to which the current bicep param should be associated with that means it validates whether all the bicep parameters are configured here or not for example here let's say i create a new one param p test and i'll save it now the moment i added a new one you see this has become red and it is complaining so if you read this error it says p test parameter is missing in this bicep param so all we need is add it here param the moment you type p or intelligence shows us the param and then the moment you put a space it shows us the missing parameters and of course p location has default value so we don't have to worry about that and p test is something that is missing so the moment you add p test the error will almost be gone and the moment you assign some value yes it turns into green color that means the parameters are all valid and nothing is missing so all this is happening because we have installed bicep extension so if you 
to not install the bicep extension then we'll have to install the bicep extension okay so now all we need is provide some values here so we already have json file that we have been using so far i'll just copy paste the values from here the environment is production copy it and paste it here Maybe I'll close this. App service plan. App service. And app insights. single quote was missing and i think i missed something so let's uh, adding the missing parameters is pretty easy all we need is that's it and param is not required so i'm going to remove it from main dot bicep as well because i added it just for testing that's it so now from now onwards we don't have to worry about uh, managing the complex json file so if at all you want to manage json it's all you know lot of content and adding one new parameter needs you know adding three different lines of code so now the management of bicep params is pretty straightforward i would recommend you guys also to follow this new approach of bicep param file that's it for this for this video if you have any feedback feel free to provide your comments in the comment section thank you